Okay, I'm going to show you now how easy it is to order our sunflower wedding invitation. The first thing to do is to choose the writing style or font that you'd like to use. Now, if you're not familiar with our fonts, the best thing to do is just click here on the view font link and a window will open uh, with a few pages on it which will show you examples of about, I think, about 20 different fonts. It's best just to magnify it a little bit and then scroll down um, until you find something that you might like. Okay, once you've done that, you can just close that window and then go to the drop down font selection box and just click on the font that you like. Now, if you want to use the same font that's shown in these windows, then you just go down to the bottom and use recommended font for this item. So I'll click on that right now. The next thing I'm going to do is to enter the invitation wording. Now, the invitation wording is actually the wording that is shown on the back of the invitation. So it's this wording right here. Okay, just close that window and I'll start to type. Okay, those details are in. When you submit your order to us, you'll normally receive the first proof back by email within one to two working days. And of course, at that time, if you're not happy with the way, with the wording you've used or the way it's set out, you can change it and we'll send another proof. Up to three proofs are included in the cost of the invitation. Um, now, the next thing to do is to put in the names that go on the front of the card. Now, these are the names that go in just here and um, what we've used on the demonstration is Thomas and Catherine, so I'll just type them in again. I've entered the names now, so the next thing to do is to just put in the bit of text that's shown on the front of the card. I'll just scroll down a bit. Oh, whoops, I can't scroll down because I need to show you that picture, so we'll just click on here to enlarge the image and what we've got here is a wedding celebration September the 12th 2005 so I'll close that and I'll start to enter the same thing in here I'll just scroll down a bit and I'll enter that wording I've entered the names, so now all I've got to do is go and uh, select the quantity. It's as simple as, that, simple as that. Now there is there's a minimum order quantity of 30 for printed invitations, so I will just select 60. I click Add to Cart, and we go to a secure page on the site where the details of your of that particular item are shown. And uh, if you want to add more, then of course you click Continue Shopping, or otherwise you click check out